Welcome to our 10th short tips and tricks webinar on Tuesday, the 28th of July, 2020. My name is Sebastian Bode, and as always, I would like to welcome all participants from all over the world, as well as my colleagues, Claudius and Dirk from our service office in Bautzen and from home office. As always, the colleagues are ready to answer your questions directly. But how does that work? No matter which device you use, you will find the possibility to send us questions directly here in the webinar tool, which we will answer directly back to you. Important, we do not communicate with you publicly, but only privately. Of course, we will stay after the webinar until we have answered all your questions. We will then only switch off the microphones, but will still be available via chat and question window. This webinar will also be recorded and, as always, uploaded on different platforms. These include our help page, help.orgadata.com, our YouTube and Vimeo channel. Also for today, I've chosen a topic that I would have liked to know by myself in the past, that it works like this and also so easy. Exactly for this, I've prepared here in big curtain wall. And I show it to you here in the cross section that you can really see the big dimension of this curtain wall here. So you see 30, I think 30, 35 meters long, nearly five meters whole, high, not so complicated, but yeah, a big curtain wall. It is often the case that these big curtain walls should not pre, 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 be produced in one go or cannot be produced in one go due to their size. At least the clamping profiles or the cover profiles often come later uh, than, the, than the basic curtain wall. So how the, the question is how can this divide it up as well as possible that you can get the right reports with the right information and so on. One possibility is to divide the, the facade into several positions by your own and enter them individually so that you get different positions. But of course, this has many, many disadvantages and needs much working time. I think the ideal thing is that you need a position which is divided, but still somehow connected. That would be ideal. Sounds crazy and impossible, but it is not. Here with the function position segments. But before I show you this function, there are two important notes. If the function here is not displayed on the right, uh, on the left side here on your screen, then take a look here and here you can activate it. By the way, this is also a wonderful way to sort the function bar here on the left side uh, according to your needs, to you, which function you need and which function you not need. Deactivate it and you get a better overview there. The second important hint is that you need here the rulers. You can activate them here in the, with the, uh, under the view ruler and then you see here in the top and on the left side the ruler in the input of elements. So, and we have, when you have activated these two things, then we can start here with the function. At first, you can choose the segmentation type. We take here the first one because we want to segmentate the, the basic part of the curtain wall, but not the, the cover plate. The, the cover profiles can go in one, in one segment. Okay, and then you can choose how you want, where you uh, want to segmentate this facade. We make it here, here, and as an example, here. And if you think, oh no, one is not right, make a right click on this and put it on an other point. And when you are ready, then you can apply, and after that, you can finish the position. And this is this is really up to you. You can make many more segmentations or you can make less segmentations. So it's really up to you how you want it. And you can also say on, on which side of the of the 
Malian, the segment has to be um, set it and yeah, how you want it. And I think that's really, really easy. At this point, Logical creates in the background out of this one position, it makes the main position and five under positions. So this takes a little bit of time because Logical has to calculate again, makes everything new and yeah, prepares five new positions. But you see it here, then it uh, takes not so much time and then you can go back to the project center. And then the project center, then you see normally the result out of this position segmentation function. Okay. The problem here is now that we only see here the main position. When you go here in the setting, in the project center, and activate this checkbox, then you have an overview about the whole segments here. We see here the segments of the basic profiles and here the one segment for the outer profiles. So, and then you have the possibility to say, okay, I want the assembly list only for segment number five, no problem. Activate, check this uh, segment and then choose the report you want to use. So, very great. You only have here the information only for this segment and not for more, and you have a great, great overview for this. And this is possible for all the segments and also for all the reports. As an example, for the glass orders, when you don't want to have the whole glazings on one time uh, on the, on the uh, construction side. So, it's really up to you. And I said before that you can make very much segments, but there's the question how you can get an overview where which segment is uh, is in the position. Therefore, you have an overview in the input of element and when you go here in the cross section of this main position. So here you see the numbers of the segments. Number five is the, is the whole segment for the outer profiles. And when you then make a click here on the on one of these segments, then you see only this segment here in the cross section. So I think with this also to get an overview is definitely not the problem. So the function works really, really good. And I think when you use it, it can make your daily work a lot easier. Now I said before. That the, that the alternative of dividing the position manually into several positions would be more complicated. And this is mainly the point when you want to make some changings because you can go every time here back in the main positions when you have under the main position the, the segment. And there you can make the changings. You can change the dimensions or you can change the profiles. And often you also have to change machinings or yeah, some, some profile extensions and so on. When we're here talking about the machinings and profile extensions, do you know the fastest way to, to make one, one Malian as you want it and to bring it on the other miles? It's a very nice function, function with, which I want to show you now. At first, we add here a profile extension. For the first with an extensions on the bottom of 150 millimeters. So and then, yeah, what is also good? What do you think about the material package? Yeah, let's add it here. Also for this first Marlin here on a height of 3,000 millimeters from the profile start. And yeah, let's take here the package number 10 in Sword von Canopy. So it's uh, taken very often. We can check it and close it. And on this way, you prepare the first 
one you prepare one million one million how you want it with the machines with the material and so on and after that you can copy this profile configuration from this profile here and bring it on the others and if you only want to have every second million then with a control button check every second million and everything is also here possible and logical makes it for you for you so we see here also always the material packages and here the profile extensions so i think that's a very easy way and the main point here is this function is only possible in one position and not between different positions when you divide the the uh, the curtain wall by yourself and not with a position segment function okay at this point i have uh, some time left here and therefore i want to show you one more nice function which uh, yeah can make your everyday work a little bit easier with logical and with the curtain walls for this we want to add here on the right side a new wall connection and I think the most of you know my my favorite function here in Logical. It is the project wall connection. And such a project wall connection we add here again. I showed to you in the, in the last webinars very often, so I go a little bit faster here through it. We take a name, we take here the right profile number of the Malian. And yeah, okay, come on. So and then we go here in the CAD part and I've prepared here in, in drawing. So turn it, re rotate it and put it on the right place here. Till here, nothing new because everybody of you knows with a project wall connection, you can add uh, not only drawings here, but also the material. The logical calculate for you how much of these screws are needed, how much of these angles are needed, and so on. But what do you think if we add here also the machining for this screw? That would be very great, and this is possible at this point. With a right click, you can say here, add a CNC machining. And then we have an we have a new window here. You can say, okay, we want a sequen sequential free machining and make all these settings which are needed. Distance to the edge of 150 millimeters, maximum distance of 250 millimeters. And with this information, Logical brings automatic, uh, takes the right distance between the machines automatically. So then we choose here the type and then the reference points and so on. I've noted uh, these points here on my paper so that I can go very fast here through it. Okay, so, but when you now think, okay, that's that's really fast, that's, that could be a topic for another webinar, I'm very interested, please write it in the question window. And yeah, if you are interested, I, make in, a, in the next weeks. So I could make a webinars about these special input of these free machinings and the group of machinings and so on. So if you are interested, write it in the question window and then I try to make a webinar about it. Okay, when we are finished here, then we can say, okay, set here in the insert point where you want, that's uh, up to you. We go back, save it, and then we add here the wall connection. Okay. So this takes also a little, uh, some seconds because Logical takes here the whole length of the Marlin and then takes uh, on the Marlin the, the machinings for the screw of the wall connection. So we see it here in the cross section that we have here the material. And then we go in the next step into the machining part to see really the result, to see how Logical brings the, the machinings for the screw onto 
the Malian, yeah, and how easy it is. Okay, also some seconds. I don't know what is wrong with my computer today. I think he's a little bit sleeping. I don't know. I have to talk with him after this webinar. Okay, everything is right here. Let's take a look for the result. Okay, you see here the result. The screw, the, the machinings for the screw automatically, and when you change the dimension of the whole curtain wall, then the machinings are put it again on the right place. Super simple. That is really my favorite function at this point, and I think that is really, really great. So at this point, my time is almost over at this uh, point. So, but shortly before the end, I want to give you a short preview for the next time. So the next time is about, yeah, everybody, somebody of you know the costs which are incurred in the project, but should be calculated according, as an example, the area of all the positions, maybe in foil to protect the elements or something similar. Exactly this and much more is what the next time with the appointment cost should be about. So be curious here, and if you haven't done it yet, register directly via our, home, via our homepage. At the end, the usual final note, if you have further interest, you can simply participate in the following survey, and we will get back to you soon. So let's rock the week together, stay healthy, until then, see you, bye.